Welcome all you specters. I'm the Poison CJ Metal, and today I'm being spilled into the affairs of the poisons by Hellripper. Released this year of 2020, this Scottish one-man band really surprised me. When I read that the genre was black slash speed metal, I just figured it was going to be, you know, just really fast black metal. It's like, okay, which would have been fine since I was going to go running when I was going to listen to this album, so I figured, eh, sure, why the hell? not. Well, after listening to it, as mentioned before, surprised, because this album actually delivers more than I initially thought. Now, there is just a little thing I want to address real quickly. I know that I said that before that this album is black speed metal. Well, it's more of closer to the lines of blackened speed metal. I say that because really the only thing black metal in here is the vocals. Everything else on here is either speed metal, obviously, thrash metal, and some motorhead influence. In fact, each song can actually be broken down based on one of those features. Some of the songs on here are, well, true speed metal. Others are more mid-tempo thrash. And then, of course, some of the other ones take on a strong motorhead influence. So with all that, we do get a variety of, of different sounds and structures and things like that on here. So it does help prevent the album be, from becoming repetitive. This album could have easily been very repetitive, you know, just really fast black metal for the entire running time, which would have got old really quick. But thanks, Satan, Hellripper did not do that. With all those influences mentioned before, the riffs are, of course, great. The bass is very audible, and the drumming is great. Honestly, like, the best way to sum up this album is if Joel Grind of Toxic Holocaust did Black Metal Screams, took some Motorhead influence, and had more than one drumming pattern the entire time. If you don't know who Toxic Holocaust is or ever heard of them, well, that's a personal issue, but I highly suggest you go checking them out as well because they're pretty similar to Hellripper, although Hellripper takes it a little more towards the black inside and more towards some other influence as well. I honestly found this album to be a great one. It's a fun one filled with occultist lyrics and some great riffs and audible bass and everything I mentioned before. If what I've said caught your attention, then go give this album a listen because it is quite good. And I know he also released a, an album prior to this one. I'm not sure about the year. Maybe it was 2018 or maybe it was last year, but that doesn't matter. I know that one's also received a lot of praise. If you like this one, then also be sure to check out his other album as well. I haven't heard the other album, but after listening to this one, I can only imagine what the one prior to this must have sounded like. I'm going to check that one out soon too. Maybe I'll write a review on it, maybe. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Thank you everyone for listening. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to do the same. And as always, I will see you at the next review. Thank you.